What's going on guys? As you may know, we have been doing a lot of traveling over the past year and now we are here in the Arts District of Los Angeles. So today in this video, we're gonna be going around downtown LA while telling you guys about the 10 things we learned after traveling overseas. Let's go. Hey, you thought we were gonna say it at the same time, huh? So we are at a LA Arts District institution. This is staple out here. This place here. is called Wurstkirch. We've got a Louisiana hot link, rattlesnake. Ooh. We've got duck bacon. Sounds crazy. And regular bratwurst. Mm. Check out that. The first thing on the list, there are a lot of kids out there who are honorary Americans. A lot of like 20 year olds pretty much can speak English, consume a lot of American culture, but they've never left their country. I think the one thing that is probably the easiest example that people could see for themselves is Rich Chigga. I mean, he became a master at Western culture through consumption. And sometimes they're more on the American trends than Asian Americans are. Yeah. All right, and the next point is that not every other country has their own self-sufficient pop culture scene. I think a lot of times you go to another country and you're thinking like, yo, what's their top 10 billboard chart gonna yeah. look like? Pitbull's right there. I <laughs> Pitbull's in every... <laughs> country. Not every country is large enough or even has that much pop culture to go around. And you have to understand, American pop culture is the most widespread. For example, in China, if you're in a club, they will play Western music. However, if you're at like a hair salon, they would play Chinese domestic market music. All right, you guys, we said we were going to do this list all around downtown LA today just to check out a few spots for ourselves and also show you guys as well. So let's get on to it. I think another thing you'll learn about traveling is you'll learn to just like see yourself through somebody else's eyes. So you'll be able to get a sense of how other people perceive you. It's really something that you could probably only gain after you travel and after you meet a lot of different people and talk with them. Because yeah. I think a lot of people meet different people, but unless you sit down and have a conversation. And have a real conversation, like real to the conversation, core, not small uh, talk. Yeah, of not what they, small uh, talk. yeah, not small talk about what they believe. It'll just open your mind. Next point is that knowing local people or residents who have lived in that country for years is gonna make your trip way better. If you're rolling around, spending all your time looking up on your phone where to go or where to eat, you're gonna waste a lot of time and a lot of energy doing so, that. You know what another thing is too? When you're with your plug or when you're out the plug, you gotta go all out. Go let's in, say, man. Let's say for example, if you have the best restaurant in the city and it's a little bit more pricier than the uh, mid-tier restaurant, just go to the better one. At the end of the day, you're gonna value that experience and that is actually more valuable. One of the biggest points that about traveling is, is that things are going to be wildly different sometimes in other countries and, and that's okay. When I see people who don't give change in America, I'm like, hey, give me my change, right? But in Asia, I have to adapt to the local basketball culture there and everybody just takes one shot in China, yeah. and whether you make it or miss it, anybody can rebound yeah, and it. And don't always try to like instill your rules over there. You gotta be respectful of how they do things. If that's how they play basketball, if that's how they play soccer, understand those are their customs, and it's not your job to come over there and tell them otherwise. And a lot of the weird food that you eat in Asia, actually, they also think it's weird too. So I think a lot of people are like, oh man, you guys ate like some bugs or scorpions while you were in China maybe they eat a lot of bugs and scorpions all the time. I'm like, no, 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 trust me, even for Chinese people, that's a weird thing to do. I will say in certain parts of America, remember this, they do eat some weird food, no, just not true. in LA. If you get in the jam, especially if you're in Asia, but really anywhere, just speak English. You, you may have a, a minimal understanding of the language of whatever country you're in. Please, if you're, there's any sort of trouble, speak English. If you're in a cab or something and you know, for some reason, there's a disagreement or a miscommunication. It might just be worth it to just pay an extra few dollars just to get out of that situation. Yeah, it, I'm not saying you can't argue or bargain with people, but you don't really want to get into trouble with the locals out there. As we're traveling through the Arts District, we're entering so many different phases of it because, you know, Fun Bros, being back in LA, we're definitely making more of an effort to explore and then in turn show you guys more about LA. Yo, we are at Earth Cafe. If you guys know, this is the iconic actor hangout spot that's in Sunset. 
Earth is the originator of the complex latte art. Now, of course, everybody does it now, but this is one of the OGs. Another thing that you will learn when you travel is that there is a lot of great and amazing people abroad. No, you will meet some of the coolest, most well-traveled, most open-minded, most caring people abroad. Yeah, you just I, meet, you just come in contact with them. I don't know how to describe it. I, I, I got caught off guard. This green team tiramisu has me at a loss for words. Let's keep it moving. The number one rule of Vegan Club is to always talk about Vegan Club. And I don't know if there's anything that spells Arts District and Hipster like a $8 slice of tiny pie. Wow, look at that. That shepherd's pie is pretty solid. It's gonna get you through a hard day of herding sheep. Into our last point of this video, one of the things that we learned after traveling around the world is that it's never a waste of money to travel. If you go and gain new perspective, traveling can never be a waste of money. People just need and to I, get and out. And I think if people could get out and engage and collaborate and just see humanity and its wholeness, it would be a huge benefit to everybody. I think it would make this country better. And thank you so much for watching that first episode of our Explore LA series. Number one in the comment section below, make sure you let us know one travel tip that you have or thing that you learned from traveling. Number two, make sure you let us know another neighborhood in LA we definitely gotta check out. And number three in the comment section below, even include a link to your travel vlog that you have on YouTube. We're gonna check out some of them and we're gonna shout them out on Twitter. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video about things that we learned while traveling abroad. Make sure to turn on your notifications for our videos, and until next time, we out. Peace. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video about things that we learned while we were traveling abroad. Like I said, this is part of the Travel LA series. We are switching up the content, guys. I know a lot of people have been, you know, uh, kind of saying this and that about the content. I understand. Don't worry. Change is on the way. Peace. Peace.